Hello everybody, uh, Lord Gareth here again, and this time I kind of wanted to uh, show, I've done a couple of our videos on crypts and kind of targeting materials that you need uh, and how to pick those specifically, but in this case I wanted to talk about, because I've had people ask about uh, the differences between, and I'm going to show you here, um, this small hit, using a small hit, uh, which looks like it saves you tar, but uh, rather than using this large hit, which looks like it costs you a lot more tar. But in reality, you might find that doing this is much better, and I'm going to show you why. So this particular captain that I have is not particularly geared up for um, crypt exploration. Um, he's more resource gathering. He doesn't really have any bonuses for uh, uh, crypt exploration here. So he's probably a good one to show you, although I could show you my other one here who obviously is much more geared for crypt efficiency obviously he has carter is a captain that bases in that uh but also i've got a plus 126 in his efficiency just uh, based on his equipment and i also have a lot of buffs that i have on him as well so um bottom line is uh let me show you if you are we're just doing a kind of standard level 10 crypt here <clears throat> and i'm going to do a small hit uh, using him. He's not going to move very quickly. Um, well, yeah, I guess he is because I've got uh, the, the March uh, buff on him as well. So you'll watch if you see when once he hits, um, we'll look at the uh, percentage and he's probably going to get like 6% or something in there. Yeah, so he got 6%. Um, and he got uh, basically he could get any of these items, but you'll notice when I look at what he did get, he got a Come on, there we go. He got one uh, item and a couple of other things, not especially a large amount of XP and a little bit of silver. So uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit again that very same crypt, but this time I'm going to hit it using the large hit, what we call the large hit, this bonus one here. Now, again, this looks like a lot of tar, but if I keep hitting this, I'm going to have to hit it almost 20 times to be able to uh, get this all the way to 100% using a character like this. Um, and if you multiply this times 20, that's going to be almost the same as, as this here. But watch what happens when I do a, a what we call a large hit or a big hit uh, on the same crypt. And you'll see that it really actually nets you a lot more. And this is something that was shown to me by Iron Will in our clan. Um, and kudos to him for showing me this because I was kind of wasting my time throwing three different people at it. But you'll notice he hit that with a large hit and he hit it one time and cleared it, right? So I can't show you, obviously it's 100%, uh, but if I look now at what he got, you look at what he got and he got a ton of stuff here, right? Plus he got all these other bonus materials, a bunch of iron, some stone, some food, which doesn't really excite me, but a lot more silver and a lot more XP. So that one hit cleared 94% of that one crypt, right? So if I, and, and I guess if I hit another 10, um, we could see what he would do just on his own. And that's not even a uh, captain that's actually geared up for uh, crypt exploration in particular. So I'm going to show you a 20. It was over here. Just There it is. Um, so there's a 20 here. I'm going to put a portal next to it just so that it's, it, we don't have um, to waste a bunch of time. Okay. So here's uh, a 20. And if you look at, at Carter again, He's got a huge amount of efficiency here for uh, crypt exploration, which makes him better anyway, just in general. But if I hit here, you'll notice this is 17.4K. But again, if I was to send all three of these these captains out with small hits, they're going to go 18%, 18%, 18%, 18%, 18%, 18% on up there. But it's three times this number each time. So that's what, three, uh, three point. 3.36 or 3.39K. 3, 3 uh, and I'm going to do that probably 10 times to get up there. So by the time I do that, I'm wasting more than just kind of hitting here. So I'm going to hit one time with the same guy on a level 20 and a, in a big hit. And let's see what he does. So he's hit already. Uh, you notice he hit 34%. Now I'm getting a little low on tar here. So let me buy some really quickly because I used up a bunch. So uh, let me just, I'll just buy this, <coughs> excuse me. 
and use that. So now I've got plenty of uh, tar available to me. So now watch what happens when I hit with this one character in a big hit. And again, looking at his, his uh, buffs here, he's got a pretty large amount. But I'm, I'm going to use him and hit one time. And now let's look at what the other guy did when he hit using the big hit. See all of these items that you got? <clears throat> Excuse me. Using this, this big hit. Uh, good amount of XP for this particular uh, captain, right? So, oh, I'm sorry. I just looked at, at the, I'm sorry. I looked at the one that we just did with Carter and he finished it off. But even the character that didn't have a lot of buffs, look at all of the items he got. And he got a fairly good amount of, of XP there as well. So the benefit of hitting using, oh, and he leveled up, which is great. Okay, so now he's going to do 74% plus his buffs. So again, if you, you look at the benefit of what you get out of these larger hits uh, and, and all of these items, uh, it's much better. It's not, and plus you're getting 10% uh, bonus experience um, and, and you're getting more of the items, uh, more of these materials as well. Uh, it just makes more sense if you do the math on it. I know for me, when I was first looking at these, uh, this is an epic grip, but when I was first looking at these and going, oh gosh, I don't want to spend you know, 3.21K and have to hit it 10 times to get up there because then I'm going to end up spending, you know, 31K or 32K just to try to hit this. It doesn't make any sense to me. But then when I realized, oh, no, it's actually a much harder hit and you uh, bonus up uh, the amount of exploration that you actually do for that particular crypt. So I hope this was helpful. Um, oh, there's somebody here hitting this this one I was just going to hit, so too late. Um the nice thing about uh, buffing up, and I'll just do this really quickly, nice thing about buffing up your characters like this is that you can one-shot these crypts pretty easily. No, no, don't need to speed them up. He's going to go fast anyway. Um, if you buff them up and you, you hit these, you're going to be able to one-shot these crypts pretty fast. The other thing uh, that you'll notice about that is that if you look at the gifts that come across, you'll see a lot of times you'll see other characters that, boom, they go like, boom, 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 crip, 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 crip. You know, and you're wondering, like, how are they doing that? This is how they're doing it. It's not uh, because they're, you know, sending out three guys really fast uh, and, and doing it over and over. They're basically using these bigger hits to be able to hit these uh, crypts one time and just kind of clear them out pretty quick. Now, this guy obviously was, yeah, he's doing small hits. So you can tell um, he's just kind of, he's, he's probably going to keep sending these smaller hits out. And again, if you add it up, it's probably going to be more than just hitting it one time with a, with a big hit. So anyway, hope this was helpful. Um, I know that I've had a lot of questions about that asked to me, and I had questions about that. And fortunately, when somebody showed me um, the difference, it made all the difference in the world. And I, was man I managed to get materials much, much faster, not to mention all the bonuses that we get for the clan, uh, for all the gift chests that we put in and everybody uh, sees, sees the benefit out of that long term. So hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And until next time, uh, enjoy the battle.